Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's 24th of May 2021. We now have a Sikorsky CH53E Super Stallion mod. This is freely available for DCS World. So I will give you the links to come to this page. And just in case that becomes obsolete, also I'll put the link to the actual Google Drive here where you can download it from. First of all, credits. Various people were involved in this kind of community mod, so I'm not going to read everyone out. Those are the guys there if you want to come and see who should be credited. Next, we're going to click on this link here. Ping. We're going to click download. Then go to the downloads area of your computer or wherever, wherever it's likely to download. You'll be presented with a zip file, about 380 megabytes. Double click in there and you get the folder. Right click, copy, let it copy. Then we're going to go to our saved games area, which for me is C drive, users, me, saved games. Sorry, I'm going a bit fast, but you should all know this by now anyway. DCS or DCS Open Beta. I'm running DCS Open Beta 2.7, the latest version as of this date. If you haven't got a subfolder called mods, make it and call it exactly that. Same thing with aircraft. Right click and then paste and you can see I've already got it. Next, we're going to start DCS 2.7 Open Beta. We're in DCS now. If it's installed correctly and everything's okay, then at the bottom along your installed module somewhere, you should see CH53 DCS 2.7 there. Next, let's set up the controls. So options, controls, select the CH53 here. First, we're going to set up the axes. If it puts anything in here by default, just clear it. And you can do that by clicking on each column and click clear category. Very simple. All you need is roll cyclic, which just set your joystick left and right. Pitch cyclic, joystick forward and back. And you can put a curve on there if you want. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Pedals for your pedals. Or maybe you'd have a twist stick instead of pedals. So I'm going to have my pedals there like that. And if we want to add some curves, then we can. So axis tune and you can add some curve. The amount of curve is going to depend on the particular device that you're using. And then you'll need collective. And so that's going to essentially be your thrust lever on your throttle quadrant. Next, starting from the bottom going up, weapons. You will need weapon release. I don't think it actually does anything at the moment, but it will do. Target turret commands don't seem to do anything at the moment. Master arm you don't need. Gun selector, I've added it on because it's quite hard to click the knob when you're flying. Gun fire, just as my main trigger. Change weapon, I don't think it does anything, but I bound it just in case it does do something at some point. Next, night vision goggles. I didn't change these, but just so you can memorize how to turn your night vision goggles on and the gain up and down. Lighting, just so you can memorize how to do these various lights if you want to. Crew control, just so you can know which keys go to the different crew members. And if you're in a multi-crew, how you can request control of the aircraft. And finally, countermeasures. I bound them for flare and chaff. And that's all you have to do. So very easy to set up. OK, now let's go and set up a mission. We've started a new map on the Syria map. We're going to go to somewhere where it's suitable for a helicopter. We're going to click add new helicopter group. I'm going to put him down there. From the type, we're going to choose, obviously, the Sikorsky CH-53. We're going to make his skill client or player for single player you can, but client is usually the best idea. We're going to make him take off from the ground cold so we can do a cold start. Next, let's arm him up. Payload screen. From left to right, we have a hook and we can carry container or cargo. It's not really working at the moment, though, at this stage, so I would suggest not doing it. Marines, we can carry marines. And if you look inside... You can see their little faces modeled in there, which is quite funky. You get a series of different libraries you can choose from here. Winch is mm, sort of working, sort of not at the moment. The winch will go up and down, but it won't react with the cargoes at the moment. So I would leave that off. Cargoes, we've got some cargoes here, but again, we can't actually deploy cargoes at the moment. So there's no real point of it. We can have a guy at the back on the ramp with them too, which is quite cool. But I want to be able to move the ramp up and down so I'm going to turn him off. We can have guns left and right. don't think this is realistic but you know this isn't a super realistic mod it's just not that kind of thing. So I'm going to have guns left as a gun 19 or a minigun. We're going to go in a minigun. Guns right and I have a minigun there. They just fire from these pods here but they're not modeled at all other than actually being able to fire. Man left and man right. This is realistic as far as I'm aware. You can have a man there and you can use him with an M2 in this case. I thought the real aircraft could have uh, miniguns there as well. That guy there as well. 
haven't worked out what plank is but we can't do anything there so that is our armed up super stallion and we're going to have that color there i think turn the fuel down so we're not super heavy we're now going to save that we're going to add a few more slots and we're going to jump in multiplayer with the simba we're in multiplayer now in a pair of cold started aircraft that is simba there without the landing gear and just for size comparison that is an mi8 there a massive transport slash attack helicopter and we've got a scout helicopter there and this is the first thing i've ever seen that makes the mi8 look relatively small as you can see okay guys let's do a cold start then when she started up let's play with the various functions just for fun again this isn't a super serious super realistic mod it's i guess somewhere in between fun and uh, realism so first battery ping next we're going to press and hold home which is the start button pressing and hold watch that gauge there sorry i haven't found a way of zooming in yet and get above 13 one three percent while holding home we're going to press end and we're going to watch this idle cut off move here zap watch the tachometer rise again in percent and uh, just get it all the way until it stops moving up hopefully you can see that Okay, when it's holding level, you can take your finger off home. Next, we're going to do the generator and the inverter. So, generator, if I can remember, is around here. Click that, and those three switches will go forward. Next, I'm going to get in the left seat by pressing the 2 key. I'm going to go up here and look for the inverter, which you'll find there. Click. Back to the pilot seat. Next, we need to increase the throttle to 100%. The throttle is that gauge there. So we're going to press and hold page up. Careful not to go above 100%. Again, sorry, I can't zoom in. Okay, she's now running at full steam and ready for action. Next, let's look at some of the functions. So we have the winch here. So press that switch to engage the winch. And then that to make it go up and down. Winch down. Winch up. Looks quite cool, but it doesn't actually really do anything at the moment. RWR, we can turn it off and on there. And we can change the brightness there with a Rio stat. Next, refueling probe in and out. So, out she goes. And back in. As far as I'm aware, there's no actual way of refueling at the moment. Next, master arm on, off, on. Next center console weapon selector we'll come back to none of this is clickable there are three things at the bottom of that are clickable but the hitboxes are almost impossible to hit so i'm going to try now so we've got the ramp open close here so we can get that yep that works so do that and close again gear if i get the hitbox going gear down Gear up. This is a cool feature. Maintenance for the rear. I do not advise flying like that. Got to put that back on. Let's go to the roof. So we've got instrument lights it's all just one catchment box one click will do them all basically uh, that is needed so get that done battery we've already done uh, what else have we got that works uh, that works throttle is already maxed out uh, we've got uh, window wipers ping we've got position lights banding lights rotor blade lights Press 1, you get the main cockpit position. 2, you get what he calls the instructor position. 3, you get the gunner position. Press the trigger. My gun's not firing. It's, it's jerking about, but not firing. Do you have master arm on? It uh, should be pointed down. Oh, right. Right, sorry, I had my master arm in the wrong position. My bad. Uh, we've got that. Unfortunately, we can't swing it about and aim it at the moment, or certainly we can't find any way of doing it, which is a bit annoying. And 4, the other position... You can look round and you can see the rest of there are my uh, GIs that I put in I suppose you can see cargo if you put in as well also I've got forward firing guns I use this switch here to change from 
right forward firing gun, left forward firing gun, both forward firing guns. Simba has wisely got out of the way. Pull the trigger. Gunners, which are my side gunners. Cargo one and two. These are presumably to deploy the cargoes, but that doesn't do anything at the moment. So that's the various features. Anything else before we go and take off Simba and find some baddies? Nope, that pretty much covers it. Okay, you can see my cyclic at the bottom there. You can see my rudder. I know it's not called a rudder pedal in a helicopter, but I'm going to call it a rudder pedal. And you've got my collective there. So let's go. Now the flight model is very, very uh, sensitive, a bit like a gazelle and reacts very quickly for such a big chopper so just you know just be super careful with it make very small inputs otherwise it will just fly around like a crazy ballerina up we go it is a external flight model as far as i'm aware there are no simple flight models available for helicopters i'm going to follow simba simba head south basically that direction i think and uh, see if we can find some yep. bad guys to shoot so the compass works and the MFD in the front in green yep. compass also works. See the ADI working. Yep. It looks like all of those passive gauges are working as far as I can see. HSI looks pretty cool. Right, now, oh, Baddy's uh, on the 9 o'clock here. Got no way of aiming at the moment. Running in on Baddy's. Got some baddies. I'm going to see if I can get my AI gunners working. That would be interesting. So I'm going to. She's a bit rather happy as well. So it's a bit. Uh, right, gunners. Oh, easy now. There we go. She's good. She's good. Right, let's have get my AI guys firing. Um, as far as I know, they don't work. But I thought I'd better try. No, it's not going to work. Never mind. Um, next, let's try multi-crew, Simba. Um, if you step out of your helicopter, I'm going to land mine. And once I've landed, then you can come and enter mine. And then we'll see. Uh, I mean, mods and, and multi-crew rarely work, but we'll give it a go. I'm just going to go and land. Try to land. I'm struck in here. Soft I'm inputs trying. there. It's really hard. It's like the gazelle on speed, as in amphetamines. There, I got it. I got it. I got it balanced. We got it. Oh, done it. Right. Um, in you come from the traditional multi group. I'm going to accept Simba. Accept. Right. Tell me where you are sitting. I am sitting in the right seat. Right, well, we're on, we're in each other at the moment, which is a bit weird. I'm going to go over here. Okay, I've got control at the moment. Tell me if you can see the helicopter moving and taking off and stuff. Are we moving? Correct. We are moving. Right. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show the value view as my party trick. Watch this. Obviously, it's it's it, it's a fun little uh, EFM, but it's not particularly realistic, as as you'll see. Watch this. Oh, super gap party trick. I doubt a stallion could do that. I don't really know. Obviously, I'm not a stallion pilot. Wee! <laughs> so fun. I think you would be a stallion to survive something yeah, like this. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Right, I'm going to slow down. Oh. Okay, Simba. Right, I'm going to hand control over to you. You press the C Charlie key to take control. You know how to control. Please don't crash the helicopter. Take off and find those baddies, and I'm going to see if I can use the side gunners to uh, uh, to shoot them. That would be fun. Right, I'm going to get in left, right, uh, left gunner. Yes, it works. If only I could aim this, it would be it would be awesome. Guess so. Guess so. Look at that. <laughs> Guess so. So I do not see the animation of your bullets. You don't see the bullets? Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Because I'm pacing those tanks. And they're literally... They're, can you see the tanks moving? I guess maybe you can't. But they are moving because nope. I'm hitting them. Okay, we've got major... Yep, I see the tanks moving. Yeah, so so I am I'm, I'm firing at them and doing it. 
Okay, so we've got basic multi-crew ability in that you can fly and I can shoot guns. I know this mod's got a long way to go, but it's first release, you know. Um, and, and that's it. Why don't you um, put it down and we'll have a we'll, we'll round up a summary. Oh, you're not going to let me shoot oh, my Oh, go on, truck? go on then, go on then. Please don't crash us, though. I've been, I've been practicing all week just for this moment. Go on then. Off he goes. Oh, barrel roll! <laughs> Whee! Well done, Simba. We're very proud of you. Now go and land it, please. Okay, valued viewers, so let's summarise. It's not a particularly realistic mod, as you can see. I mean, most of them are. 99% of the mods out there are not realistic and don't really make any attempt at all to be realistic. There are some. The A4E attempts to be realistic. The MB339 attempts to be realistic. The C-130 kind of attempts to be realistic. Uh, and the A-29 just does attempt to be realistic. The rest are kind of little fun things like this. And there's nothing wrong with it. And the, and the good thing is... <laughs> I guess that's a landing. It's something that can help people get into helicopters and, you know, because no one likes to go and just spend $80 on something that they don't know anything about. So come in, fly the Super Stallion, have fun. You, there might even be a, a, a multiplayer server out there for you. And, um, you know, don't take it too seriously. And if you like it, you think it's, it's cool, go and buy a Huey, go and buy an MA8, which is, you know, a serious version of it. Um, so I think it does have a place. Uh, anything you want to add, Simba? Yeah, it's a much greater relief to see another modder, modder out there making a helo. We haven't seen one since the AH-6. Obviously, it's a first pass. If I think if they wanted to go realistic, they probably could. You know, within reason. It's never going to be, uh, you know, like a module. But yeah, otherwise, good. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you later.